This involves both great food and probability. Here's what let's do. You and I, let's go out to dinner. But at the end of the meal, what we will do is flip a coin to decide who pays. Call it correctly, you get a free meal. Call it incorrectly, you've got to pay for both of us. With this as our setup to probabilistic reasoning, let's talk about the grammar of probability. Probability is the likelihood that an event will occur. Probability is almost always related to some time period or some other form of context, like failures per minute, which could also be failures per second, or per year, or per semester, or per project. Deaths per 100,000, or leaks per one mile of pipeline. The probability of you having to pay for dinner is a decimal 0.50. Zero. Chances are probability expressed as a percent. There is a 50% chance of you having to pay. Odds are the likelihood that an event will not occur. Odds are often expressed with two numbers separated by a colon. So for instance, the odds of paying are one in two. One side of a two-sided coin, which could also be expressed as two to one odds. Likelihood is not so much mathematical as it is more of a personal confidence or some degree of your belief about whether or not the event will occur. Like, I'm feeling lucky. I'm gonna order dessert. And then there's also a subjective probability, which uses experience plus data. Like, what's the subjective probability that you'll be free for dinner on Friday? We would probably just say, what are the chances? Or what is the likelihood? Or what is the subjective probability that you will want to participate in my experiment to see whether or not you have to pay? A trial, also called an event, is the performance of a random statistical experiment, such as when I flipped the coin. One of two outcomes has already occurred. We just don't know which one yet. We're going to use the symbol with brackets as shorthand for any event. And you will see plenty of examples of what an event looks like when it is in this notation. The outcome would be the results of the trial or the results of the event. Another name for the experimental outcome is a sample point. The sample point is still hidden we don't yet know what the outcome will be. Success is the hoped for outcome. If you called heads, and it is in fact heads, you win. You don't have to pay for dinner. That is the hoped for outcome. That's the one that we would use as our reference point when we were figuring out probability. Relative frequency is the number of outcomes per unit of time in a statistical experiment. You would divide the total number of outcomes by opportunities, which we could describe as P equals D over T, desired number of outcomes or successes out of total outcomes. You will also see it as lowercase n over uppercase n, or placed into actual numbers such as one over two. Now you know the grammar of probability all terms that we're going to be using throughout this set of lectures about probability. Oh, and hmm, it's heads. <laughs>